Core blood is accepted by FDA as well as the EMA on the European level for many diseases. It's more than 80 diseases what core blood is approved for. It's mainly been used uh, to use the hematopoietic stem cells derived out of core blood for many diseases. For example, specific forms of leukemia, hereditary diseases of the bone marrow, Fanconi anemia for example, and other hereditary diseases and is consequently accepted. In the future, uh, there is high potential for core blood, uh, in specifically for regenerative purposes. So far, it's established using core blood, like I already mentioned, for hereditary diseases, including leukemia and anemias. But for the future, there is a big field opening at the moment with big perspectives from science and clinicians for regenerative purposes, talking about neurodegenerative diseases and other forms of chronic degenerative diseases. The nice thing about the technique about cryopreservation is that we can bring down the core blood on ice for not only a few years, even more for many, many decades and even more lifelong for the patient and for the, for the donor itself. Many research as well as clinicians also tell to placenta it's our gold mine, our gold mine for regenerative purposes. Compared to core blood, placenta is highly, highly more enriched in specific forms of stem cells and other forms of cells, and they have strong capability in the proliferation and their regenerative potency. Since the last decade, there are more than hundreds of clinical trials ongoing with positive outcomes using placenta cells for regenerative purposes. Main focuses are here neurodegenerative diseases, including cerebral palsy, stroke, as well as uh, Alzheimer's, another good example. Also metabolic disorders, including diabetes, joint problems, including uh, chronic arthritis, as well as chronic bowel problems, including colitis, Crohn, and also main focus, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a kind of chronic disease of the lungs. The, the great thing for me as a perspective from a, from a doctor is that tremendously I can help people. People who are usually lost, lost in the, in the rehab programs because we can bring in actively regeneration. So it's great to see parents smiling in because their kids are more, far more social, they're far more interactive. Some of the kids, they are able to go to school, not being able before the treatment, taking swimming lessons playing around with their siblings again, which hasn't been possible before because of some neurogenerative diseases. Looking at the adults, coming back to life, standing up from wheelchairs, uh, bringing back quality in their lives, bringing back the, the perspectives to their lives, that they're able to move the arms, which wasn't possible before because of stroke, getting rid of pain, getting rid of chronic inflammation, and, and so on and so on. And so it's great to, to listen to all our patients, having great feedbacks, and actively being able to help all those people. Of course, to look at the placenta, first of all, the cells of interest has to be extracted and then in vitro cultivation, so it's happening all in the lab, they have to be expanded, they have to be proliferated. And after a certain amounts, they have been harvested and then they are ready to go straight for the treatment, either for local treatments or for systemic treatments, whatever is in need. Systemic treatment, for example, means intravenously application. Local treatment, for example, means direct application to the joints, to the ankles, or into, even into the spinal cord. First of all, highly necessary and vital, baby safe, mother safe. Once that is generated, uh, we care for the placenta, so there's no inter interruption with the, with the mom and the, the baby, they're safe. So as soon as the, the placenta is born, uh, we will care for, first of all, the core blood that is rinsed out and collected. Secondly, uh, we care and flush out the placenta blood itself and it's collected. At third, we take care about the cord tissue, also very important, 
And finally, highly, highly important, our gold mine, we care for the placenta. It's been disinfected and all of these tissues and the blood is collected in one package, shipped to the certified lab of ours, and then it's been put on ice for long-term storage. Usually, and in most cases, it can be done for everyone. In rare cases, very rare cases, there could be, for example, infection or manualysis during birth process of the placenta. So it's unuseful. But this is very, very rare. Important to know that placenta can be collected in the case of vaginal delivery as well as for cesarean section. In both cases, placenta collection definitely possible. Since placenta is the so-called gold mine for regenerative medicine, as well as one-time chance only, um, I highly recommend to store the placenta as well as the, the cord tissue and the cord blood um, for future reasons because it's health insurance. It's our health insurance for our kids. And the nice thing is this cord blood and the placenta mainly stays with the kids lifelong. First and mandatory step for the freezing process of placenta is its disinfection. So first of all, it's disinfected with specific prepared antibiotics. The next step, the placenta is processed into small pieces and consequently the addition of a cryoprotective agent to be able to put it down on very deep temperature. After a thorough quality assessment on top of this process, we are able to store placenta for centuries and even decades on minus 150 Celsius in the specific, specific certified labs. That's easy, just visit corebloodcenter.sk.